guys, you're watching Keat Straight Up and I am Keatlin and today we're going to make a banging game day kielbasa. The best part about this recipe is it is a crock pot recipe. It takes about two hours in your crock pot and there's only three simple ingredients. After using those three ingredients, three simple condiments you probably have in your fridge, you have a delicious game day kielbasa. Many times you can get a ring of kielbasa pre-cooked and that way you could just slice it up to throw into your crock pot. If not, you're going to have to boil it and cook it prior to going into your pot. Once your kielbasa is in your crock pot, it's just a few other simple ingredients. We have an entire jar of grape jelly that we're just going to dump in. Now I know these ingredients might seem a little weird, but I promise you this is a delicious recipe. It smells phenomenal. People are going to think that it's way harder than it is. It's kind of got a chili vibe going on to it with the sriracha that we're going to put in. It's just going to be really good. So don't get weirded out by the ingredients. Make sure all that grape jelly gets in there and then it's time for our barbecue sauce and our sriracha. After our grape jelly is in our crock, we're doing about half of a container of barbecue sauce. You can use your favorite barbecue sauce here. I just got a sweet baby Ray's hickory and brown sugar. Goes great in this recipe, but feel free to experiment. And you're going to use about half of the bottle. One more step, we're just gonna put in a little bit of sriracha to taste. So if you want this to have a good chili flavor, then go ahead and put in quite a bit. But if you want it to have like a subtle kind of heat to it, just do a couple swirls like this and then you're good. Once you've got your three ingredients in that crock pot, you're just gonna stir it up until the three different condiments are mixed together pretty well. You're gonna start to get like a thick brown sauce. Then we're covering it up two hours on low. The best part is that you actually can't really overcook this. So as long as it's on low, if you go a little longer, three hours or so, it's not a big deal. But just let it sit on your counter, start to smell this delicious recipe, and I promise you it's going to be a hit at any game day party, or any party for that matter, a holiday party. It's a great appetizer or snack, it's easy, and it is truly a delicious recipe. And after that two hours, you get a delicious game day kielbasa. Go ahead and throw it in your serving dish or on a plate. Grab some toothpicks. It's the best way to serve it. Just let people stick it in there and grab a bite. And I promise you, this recipe will not disappoint. Make sure you subscribe to Keep Straight Up for more fun recipes like this every Tuesday. I love hanging out with you guys in my kitchen. If you have a request, do that below. Find me on Instagram, Keep Straight Up Cooking. And other than that, guys, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.